it's the cold math lady today we're talking about average part two it's like the sequel of average and what i mean by that is that in the beginning we talked about average we talked about well if i give you some information find the average of these numbers here we're going to go in reverse we're going to give you the average and we want you to back it up and find out a piece of that information or one of the missing numbers here's what i mean so let's take a look at the first problem the average price of three gifts is four dollars what is the sum of their prices hmm. well let's first think about what is that formula for equation usually for equation for average the, the formula for average is we take the total you know the total of all the numbers and then we divide it by how many numbers we have or the number of items Right, so if you had you know, five tests, we would total up all our test scores, and then we would divide it by five, and that would be our average. But now we're going in reverse. They gave us the average, so let's fill it in. They gave us the average is $4. And what is the sum of their prices? So what we're missing is the total. But they told us how many gifts there were. There are three. Well, hmm, we can do this problem, can't we? All we're missing, imagine this was just a T. T over 3 equals 4 over 1. We can do this. Let's cross multiply. So 1 times our total is 4 times 3 is 12. So our total is $12. All we had to do is back it up. Take our $4, multiply it by 3 gifts, and that total was 12. Think about it in reverse. If I told you that each gift cost um, $4, you had three of them, four times three is 12, you divide by three, you would have gotten four. Okay, so we're just going in reverse. Let's use another problem to see how this works. Let's try this example. The average of five numbers is 52. If the first four numbers are 48, 50, 60, and 54, find the missing number. So I've given you our equation for average, right? It's the total, the sum of the numbers over the number of the items that we have equals our average. Let's plug in what we have. So do we have a total? Well, we almost have a total. We have the first four numbers and whatever's left over will be our total. So let's write that. Let's write 48 plus 50 plus 60 plus 54 plus we could say x we don't know what it is over the number of items well we have five numbers so we can put five on the bottom equals we're squeezing it in the average the average is 52 put it over here so how would we do this well, let's go ahead and cross multiply. So now that you've seen this, I'm going to erase it so we can do the math. Okay. So we're going to multiply 5 times 52 and set it equal to this, 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 plus this. And then we solve for x. So here we go. 5 times 52. Let's do the math over to the side. 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 5 is 25. And 1 is 26. Okay, so we have 260 equals... 48, 50, 60, 54, oh, we're running out of room, plus X. Okay, are you with me? I know it's messy. And now we're going to add up all of these, and then whatever is left over is that missing number, right? We subtract that from 60. Let me try that again. <laughs> we're going to add up all of these and subtract it from 260, and whatever's left over is going to be our missing number. Okay, so here we go. I'm, I'm making. I'm gonna erase to make more room. Forty-eight, fifty, sixty, fifty-four. Five and five is ten. Two, twelve. Let's make sure that's correct. Uh, ten, ten, and one. okay, two hundred and twelve. So we have 260 equals 212 plus X. All we're going to do is subtract 212 from 260 to find our missing number. 260 
to 12. 48 is our missing number. Makes sense. 48, 50, 60, 54, and 48 helps bring that number down. Makes sense. So again, all we're doing with average part two is we're going in reverse. They're giving us the average and we're now backing into the problem to find the missing piece of information. Okay, that's it. Make sure you try the practice problem so you can do this on your own. It's Nicole the Math Lady. I will see you next time. Bye.